Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome to my channel. Guys! Guys! Molly is down here um, as well, mm. but welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for New Do Year's we? Eve. Um, I just kind of fast forwarded through the tutorial and did a voiceover, so I hope that's okay with you. It's kind of a different get ready with me. And yeah, I think the look didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but it did turn out um, nice. It's just not exactly what I was expecting. So I hope that you guys enjoy the tutorial and let's get into it. Hey guys, so for this tutorial, I'm starting off with my eyebrows and this is just the honest side to be a dip brow. And then I'm just filling in my eyebrows. And then I'm just continuing to fill those in the best that I can. And there they are finished. I'm just taking my little spoolie brush and brushing them out so it doesn't look so harsh for my eyebrows. And then I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild concealer and just a small flat angled brush and just kind of cut them out if that makes sense. You can kind of see what I'm doing here trying to get on that trend of just, you know, chiseling out my eyebrows. <laughs> and then I finish that, I'm going in with my model's own eyeshadow primer and putting that on as the base to my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to set that with my Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette in Smoke. And I'm taking that light gray color and putting that in the outer corner and the crease of my eye and just blending that out as much as possible. Then I'm going in with that dark black color and I'm just focusing that on the outer corner of my eye and I'm not blending that in yet um, too much just because I want to put the glitter on first and I'm taking my concealer again with a small Real Techniques brush and I'm trying to cut out a cut crease but since my eyelids are hooded it was kind of difficult to do this but I have learned a new technique for next time but you can kind of just see that I'm trying to cut the crease on my eyes to apply that glitter and make it look more precise. And if you keep seeing me look down um, to the side, I was playing Pandora and I had to skip some of the songs. And there it is cut out and I just kind of let that dry a little bit and did my primer because I like to let my primer sit for a couple minutes before I put my foundation on. Then I'm going in with my eyeliner a while because I heard that um, it's easier to put liquid, eye liquid eyeliner on before glitter since the glitter can get a bit chunky. So I'm just trying to do a wing for my eyeliner. And this is the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. And I'm letting that dry as well. And then I'm taking my Wet n Wild eye pigment and just placing that onto the area that I had cut out with the concealer. And then I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending that out. And I didn't like the way that it was blending out with that brush, so I took a Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush and blended it out a little bit more. And I'm going back in with the light um, white color and highlighting underneath my brow bone. And then taking my uh, Maybelline Fit Me foundation with my Real Technique sponge and just putting that all over my face.
And then I'm taking my Urban Decay um, concealer and I'm putting that under my eyes and on my nose just to highlight that area. And then I'm going in with that airspun powder again and I'm just taking this on a big fluffy like stippling brush and I'm just kind of patting that all over my face to mattify it and set everything. And then I'm taking my Stila bronzer and I'm using that just to contour and bronze up my face a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with blush, and this is a Milani Big Blush. I believe it's in like a, a rose kind of color. And then I'm using my Milk Makeup Highlighting Stick, and I'm just going to tell you right now, do not put this over powder. It's, honestly, I don't even think it's meant for over foundation, but I had to really work and blend this in so it didn't look chunky and make my, um, my foundation look funny. And I'm just going in with the Anastasia um, glow kit and putting that all over my face with the purple shade. I think that color was so amazing. And then my usual mascara, some eyelashes. These are um, some bigger eyelashes that I have. And I'm going back in with that light gray color to go underneath my lash line. And I realized that I had not done that before I put the mascara on, so my eyes started watering. And I'm going in with some lipstick, and this is by Wet n Wild. They're catsuit lip liquid lipsticks, and this isn't just a berry shade. I thought it would just make the look pop since the eyes were kind of on the darker side. And there is the finished look, and I hope that you guys enjoyed. So I hope that you enjoyed that tutorial and enjoyed getting ready with me for New Year's Eve. This is what I will be wearing this year for New Year's Eve for the little festivities that we're going to be having at our house, whichever they may be. And yeah, if you guys have anything special planned for New Year's Eve, let me know down in the comments and I will be sure to check that out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be first to know about the videos that are on my channel, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you guys, <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye. Bye.